You'll begin your prep by sanding. Always sand with safety goggles and a face mask. I'll link to my favorite products in the comment section in this video. I started with using an 80 grit sandpaper and a random orbital sander. Most important when you're sanding with a random orbital sander is to keep your sander moving. Always go with the grain of wood and don't keep your sander still or you'll end up with lots of little round swirl marks in your wood. Sometimes it helps to put light pressure on one side of your sander more than the other when you're trying to get through old finishes and hard finishes that have been on a long time. Don't forget to get the edges and corners of where you're going to put a stain top on your furniture piece as well. I finished sanding with 180 grit sandpaper. It helps if you feel the sanded surface to find the rough spots that you may have missed. You want everything to be super smooth before you move on to the next step and later on stain and poly your top. Now you'll take the drawer hardware off and put the drawers aside. This is also a great time to do a once over along your entire dresser to make sure that there are no repairs that need to be made. If so, do them now. Next, you'll degloss and prepare your dresser for painting. I use TSP, a little water, heavy duty gloves, and a clean rag for this step. Pour a few tablespoons of TSP into your water, use your rag, and begin to wipe your furniture down. Be sure to rinse your rag often. Don't forget all of the edges, nooks, and crannies of where you will be painting. And again, don't overlook furniture feet and the lower parts of the dresser. Starting with the drawers, I began taping off the areas that I didn't want sprayed. I found it helps to get one layer of frog tape on first to get all the edges perfect, and then tape on another layer that holds the plastic that's going to protect the inside and the sides of the drawers. Always remember you'll get the best seal if you go back over all of the edges that touch the wood and press firmly to seal them. Moving on to the dresser top, we're going to tape the edges first to get a good seal, just like I did on the drawers. Pay close attention to the corners to get a good seal with your tape. Next, you'll apply the plastic drop cloth to the top. Again, you're going to get a good seal around all of the edges. Because a paint sprayer blows air, I want extra layers of tape holding my top and my plastic down. And another thing I always do is tape the back of my dresser. I used my Homerite Super Finish Max paint sprayer for this project. It comes with four paint tips for different paint or varnish thicknesses. I used the green tip and yellow cap to spray my latex paint for this project. I used my home right large paint shelter, a large plastic drop cloth, and note that I put my dresser on pieces of wood to be able to paint the feet better. If you've been following me a while, you know this trick already. Always use petroleum jelly or some type of hand lotion on your hands and arms, your legs, any place that's exposed to paint, and when you're done, it will wash right off and it won't stick to your skin. 
If you tie the ends of your cords together in a quick little knot, you won't have your paint sprayer and your extension cord pulling apart as you're moving around with your paint sprayer. I poured my paint directly into the paint container for the Super Finish Max paint sprayer. I did not dilute that first coat, but I ended up diluting the second coat, and overall I liked it better. So plan on using about a 20% dilution, 20% water to 80% paint for your paint job. Always do a test of your sprayer and your spray pattern and the amount of spray that's coming out and do the adjustments before you start painting your piece. Paint in a smooth sweeping motion going from side to side. Apply an even coat of paint in one area before moving on to the next spot. It wasn't windy and I didn't feel like moving the dresser base, so I finished painting my drawers outside of the paint shelter. While you're waiting on the first coat of paint to dry, cap the paint container and run clear water through the paint sprayer head. Let it dry to the touch before adding a second coat. When your paint is dry to the touch, you'll add a second coat of paint to everything. Always do a spray test before starting to paint your dresser or your drawers. When your second coat is dry to the touch, remove all of the painter's tape and any protective layers that you've got on the dresser top and the drawers. Cleaning up after using a paint sprayer doesn't take any more time than using a roller. I used a disposable drop cloth and then the paint shelter folds away quickly for easy storing. Since you guys see me use the home right paint shelters, the large, medium, and small so often in my projects, I thought it would be fun to share with you just how easy it is to take one down, roll it up, and put it away for storing. Now we're ready to stain the top. I used Minwax pre-stain conditioner, a brush, and a rag for this step. You'll apply a thin, even coat onto the bare sanded wood top, let it sit for 5 to 15 minutes, and then wipe the excess off with a rag. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm indoors, it was raining cats and dogs outside, so I had to move my entire project into the kitchen. Be sure to use like products, so if your pre-stain and your stain are oil-based, keep them both the same. Don't mix oil-based and water-based when you're doing this step. I used gloves and a clean rag to apply my stain. I followed the grain of the wood and continued with a wet edge until the entire surface was completed. When I was done staining, I let the dresser sit overnight and started working on the drawers and adding the new pulls onto them. I needed to drill additional pull holes into my drawers because I was moving from a single screw type to a double three inch spaced screw type. I used my Craig Tool pull cabinet hardware jig to make this step fast and easy. If you've never used one of these, I have a fabulous tutorial on my blog and I'll link it above. Once the holes were drilled, it was a snap to add the new pull handles onto the drawers.
Okay, so my dresser's been sitting aside for the night, the stain is dry, and the last step left is to add a coat of poly onto the stained top. Note that I am using a water-based poly for this step, and I use a small container of water. To do this step, you're going to dip the tip of your paintbrush into the water and get it barely wet. Tamp off any excess water. Dip it into the poly and apply your poly, staying with the grain of the wood and a wet edge. Apply it to the entire surface. Allow this coat to dry before adding another one. I don't show this step because I ran out of time, but once your finish is dry, take a 220 grit sandpaper and very lightly run across the top of your surface. Wipe that clean with a tack cloth and apply another coat of poly. Wait for that to dry and do it once more and you'll have a great finish on your furniture top. The knobs I ordered for this dresser didn't come in in time, but I've set this up just so you could see the final pictures. If you like this video, don't forget to like it below and leave me a comment. Don't forget to follow me on YouTube at H2O Bungalow and again on the blog at h2obungalow.com where you'll find over 400 home improvement and home decor projects that are creative and fun to do.